Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, and today I'll be reading an Arlecchino Cousinor by me, so let's get into it. The night air in the house of the hearth was crisp, and the silence was only broken by the occasional crackling of the fireplace. You lay in bed, feeling the chill seep through your bones, all despite the heavy blankets covering you. Your head dropped with a dull ache, and every breath seemed to scrape painfully against your throat. The usually warm and inviting atmosphere of the orphanage now felt oppressive, as your favorite state left you disoriented and miserable. It was not something you had not experienced before, but right now, it was all too intense and worse than you've ever had it. You heard soft footsteps approaching, and, to your favorite haze, saw the tall, imposing figure of Arlecchino, the father of the house, enter the room. She was a strict guardian, known for her stern demeanor and unwavering discipline. But in this moment, there was a glimmer of concern in her steely eyes. Leon, are you awake? Arlequina's voice, usually commanding, was softened by a rare gentleness that rarely anybody had ever witnessed. Perhaps it also just spoke volumes about the severity of your current situation. It was something rare that anyone got this sick. But perhaps it was due to the fact that you haven't been here for long, and maybe it was due to the harsh environment that you were in, previous to being in the house. So you did not get time to recover. You managed a weak nod, your vision blurring, as you tried to focus on her. Father, I don't feel too well. You croaked out, your voice barely above a whisper. Erlikino's expression remained stoic, but her eyes softened. She reached out, placing a cool hand on your forehead. You have a fever, she stated matter-of-factly. I will take care of you. Stay still, she said, and she moved with swift efficiency, pitching a damp cloth and a basin of cool water. She gently dabbed the cloth against your forehead, the coolness providing momentary relief from the heat radiating off of your skin. It was nice to be cared for like this. He remembered the cold days outside of the orphanage, when you'd feel sick or hungry, and you'd be all alone. How long have you felt this way? She asked, her tone firm, but with a hint of concern. Since, since this morning, you admitted, feeling a wave of exhaustion wash over you, I thought it would go away. Arlequina frowned slightly, a rare display of emotion for her. You should have come to me sooner. You know I cannot help you if I'm unaware of your condition. He nodded weakly, feeling a mixture of guilt and relief. I'm sorry, father. She shook her head, her hair falling over her shoulders. There is no need for apologies now. Rest. I will make you some herbal tea that should help you with the fever. She whispered. And you watched as she moved with grace and precision. Her usual sternness softened by the care that she was showing towards you. Despite her reputation, in this moment... Arlequino felt like a protective guardian, ensuring your well-being. 
it was different from how she felt at most moments. Sometimes, actually, most of the time she was distant, and it was scary. But right now, as you saw her, it was nice to know that you were cared for. That you wouldn't be abandoned when you were sick and needed someone. Arlequino returned with a steaming cup of herbal tea, carefully setting you up and holding the cup to your lips. Drink this. It will help, she said. And you nodded. She never really said anything wrong. You trusted your father with all that you had. Of course, she was the only person who helps you. You sipped the tea, the warmth spreading through your body and easing some of the discomfort. Thank you, father, you murmured. In truth, you were scared of the illness, but you felt a bit more at ease with her presence. She nodded, her eyes never leaving you. Rest now, Mayan. I will be here if you need anything. And as the night wore on, Arlequina stayed by her side, occasionally changing the cool cloth on your forehead and ensuring you drank enough fluids. Her presence, usually so intimidating, now felt like a protective shield against the pain and fever ravaging your body. Father, why are you so kind to us? You asked weakly in the middle of the night, already half asleep and tired, curiosity overcoming you and your own exhaustion. Arlequina paused, her expression unreadable. It is my duty to protect you and care for you all. The house of the hearth is my responsibility, and each of you is important to me. Her words, so simple, carry the weight that made you feel safer and more cared for than ever in your life. And you drifted off to sleep, comforted, by the knowledge that despite her stern exterior, Arlequina truly cared for you and would always be there when you needed her most.